Guess who? Did you miss me? Keep looking at this car sitting out here in the backyard and it's just, it's getting filthy. Just sitting here freaking doing nothing. Oh, so, like I really want to get this thing registered, get it on the road. Bam. Arch right up. Look at that, dude. Oh my God. Oh, it's so bad. So bad. But the exterior of the car looks a lot better than what it did. Now we we do still need to restore these bumpers to get them back to black and looking nice again. But one thing that you most certainly can do on an older vehicle like this to try to clean it up and make it look a lot nicer is all this trim, dude. All this trim is faded and pretty much went to crap. So that's what I'm gonna start off today doing. Uh, we're gonna mask all this off and I'm basically gonna cover the entire. trying to restore the appearance of the sedan. Uh, we obviously did the windshield wipers, all the trim around the windows and stuff. Respray those factory stillies even, just to give them that fresh OEM look. And today what I'm wanting to do is just kind of continue uh, with the restoration of the car, man, because the bumpers stand out like a sore thumb and they, they just look horrible, bro. And they make the car look aged as shit. Uh, so, I, Let's try to fix it. I'm just gonna use some soapy water and get the bumpers all scrubbed and get them clean before we move on to our next step. I'm also gonna hit them with my degreaser. This squirt bottle right here is just a bottle that I've uh, repurposed for my degreaser for the most part. The degreaser that I use is super clean. You can get this stuff at Walmart. I promise you, if you try it, this stuff is better than Purple Power and it is 10 times better than that green crap. I, I mean green or so, I don't know what it's called. I've tried all the other ones and I always come back to super clean. So in 
today's video, we are also gonna be installing a set of LED headlights on the sedan. I've actually had these bulbs sitting for a couple of months now. The company sent them out to me, uh, ran into the problem where the sedan wasn't starting and the hatch didn't have any headlights yet. But Bosilla, but Bosla? Bossla, B B O S L L A. They have been very patient with me about this, okay? Because they sent this out to me literally months ago, bro. And they have sent me a few emails like, hey, you ever gonna do that review? But just so you guys know, we will be installing some LED headlights on the sedan, but obviously later on tonight, whenever the sun goes down. All right, but there are the bumpers all cleaned up, and I don't think that I have to say this, but cleaning them does absolutely nothing to the oxidation. I'm sure you guys all know that already. They still look just as crappy as they did before. But at least they're clean now and I don't have to worry about dirt or anything on them. Now, one of the best methods for restoring plastic is heat. And obviously there's more than one way to apply heat to something. I do have a torch. Now, using a torch is, I mean, there you can cause damage using either one of these, okay? But a torch is gonna be capable of causing damage a lot faster because this is an actual open flame. And then not to mention like things behind the bumper or like your lens and stuff. It, you can damage things like this. So you have to be careful with the way that you use it. A little bit of a safer route is using a heat gun, of course, uh, but at the same time, a heat gun, you are looking at uh, the, the same possibilities of this causing damage, just uh, it would take a little bit longer. You know what I'm saying? So I am gonna go ahead and show you guys with the flame first, what it is that it does to this plastic. And what you wanna do is really keep this thing moving, dude. You don't wanna sit in one spot for too long because that's when you will cause damage to the plastic and you can melt things and burn it, you know what I'm saying? But you can see that in the camera, bro. You can see as it's turning that back to black. And that's permanent. It's not something that's just gonna go away. Like whenever you put tire shine on this, it makes it look good for a couple of days. That will stay like that for, uh, well, until the sun obviously oxidizes it again. But like I said, you wanna be really careful doing this because you will melt shit. All right, so here we go with the heat gun. And I have this set on high. <laughs> oh man, all right. Oh, there it goes. That's starting a little bit. So as you can see, the heat gun definitely takes a lot longer. It doesn't work as quick, but uh, since being it does take so much longer, it is a lot safer so that you can kind of move at a much slower pace. But remember, you can still damage this if you stay in one spot for too terribly long. There it goes. There it goes. Another thing I think is the reason why it's taking this so long is because the bumper is actually cold. Um, it's better for you to do this actually out in the sun, but my driveway is completely shaded right now. Um, I would have to be doing this out in the street right now if I wanted to be in the sun, and I don't want to work out in the street, so. As you can see, you can get the same results with the heat gun as you can with the torch. The torch obviously works a lot faster, but it is a little bit more dangerous as far as possibly causing damage. And that right there is what most people do, is they just, um, you know, from videos and stuff that I've seen on YouTube, is you just do the heat treatment and bring that black back out. But what I'm wanting to do is just a, a little bit of a step further in the prep in prepping the bumpers for the heat treatment. Now 
Now what I'm doing here, I've showed you guys before, it's called burning the tape. You take the tape off, you stick it on your shirt or your pants, whatever, and what you're doing is that lint that sticks on the adhesive is just making the tape a little bit less sticky, you know what I'm saying? So therefore it's a little bit safer because I don't know if you guys have noticed on this car, there is paint flaking and stuff in places. So there's a lot of really weak paint on the car and I'm trying not to, at the moment, pull any more off than what has already came off. Now we will be painting this car eventually, but at the moment I just, I want it to look as nice as it possibly can. So I'm doing uh, little precautions like that just to try to be safe and make sure that I'm not gonna pull more chunks of paint off. All right, so now with all that protected, I have our same bucket of soapy water sitting here, and I have a, uh, a DA, this is a dual action pneumatic sander, and this is a little bit different than the one I normally use. This has a Velcro pad on it, and the reason for the Velcro is because we're gonna be using this with water, and water, if we're using just a regular adhesive backed sandpaper on here, the water would obviously tear that up and make it not stick anymore, so. And this is basically kinda like a scotch pad but it's gray it's a little bit more abrasive than your average scotch pad that you use to do your dishes with uh, you get this at like auto parts stores for the most part uh, or not auto parts stores but auto body shops where you'd buy like automotive paint and stuff you can find things like this but this is what I'm gonna use I'm gonna get it obviously wet with our soapy water and I'm just gonna kind of sand slash scrub all this oxidation off of the bumper. And I'm not gonna do the whole entire bumper. Basically my idea here is I wanna get just the areas that are really heavy, heavily oxidized because from my experience of doing this heat treatment, uh, it, it kind of comes out like patchy. You know, like it looks a little bit better in some areas than it does in others. So my idea of sanding this, doing kind of a wet sand to get this oxidation off before the heat treatment, I'm thinking we'll end up with a better uh, end product to where it looks a little bit more consistent. It looks a little bit more clean, you know what I'm saying? So, and that's my theory, dude. This is just experimenting. I've never done this before. Um, I've never had to do this before, you know what I mean? So uh, in my mind, it makes sense. Who knows, this might not work out. Um, but we're gonna find out, right? That's just doing a very small section and not even for very long and you can see all that black coming out now it's not as dark as this yet but also you see how like I you can see the difference right I mean that is basically almost white and this is obviously turning back to black so um, I think we're on the right track here using this guy uh, just to get that oxidation off of there man so I'm gonna go ahead and keep going and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after I get the entire bumper done Alright, so here's the front bumper after just doing the sanding. Now we still have to do the heat treatment and the front bumper is ready for the heat treatment. I am going to do these little side pieces because they are really bad. But like I mentioned, I don't, there ain't no sense in even trying with this because this is like the plastic that's on the outside of it is just completely separating, dude, if you can see that. Um, I will be addressing these things, but at a later time, I'm not going to have I'm not going to have time to do these today, bro, because I'm seriously going to have to take all the door panels off 
and so we can access the little clips on the back so we don't break them when we take them off and then we'll do we will do something about these eventually but i'll show you guys the rear bumper one more time and then i'm gonna go ahead and sand it and i'll show you guys what it looks like after All right, so there's the rear bumper all sanded and to be oh wow i probably could have went a little bit harder on it i think i'm just being lazy but anyhow it does look a little bit better but it's definitely not perfect you can see the black trying to come out um i could probably i don't know i might go over this one again we'll see but as you can see i did end up pulling these lights off the front bumper because they do need to be kind of polished up um, while I don't have new lenses, I do have the new back part, so we might end up using this. But it has a uh, clear lens in here where the factory ones have an amber. And, and to be honest with you, I kind of like the amber. Um, but this, this will give it a much newer, uh, cleaner look, of course. Uh, those are what is left from the ones that we got for the front of the hatch. I just used the amber and uh the amber lens and then i kept the back part of what i actually had on the car because as you guys know those have leds in it so i did end up having these left and i figured i may as well use them on the sedan if they are the same but before we get into that it's time to do the heat treatment on the bumpers bro and this is what i am most certainly excited for um i think i'm gonna go ahead and use the torch because it does work so much faster uh i don't know i might run out of gas and have to go to the to the uh heat gun but we'll see <sighs> so i'm just gonna get into this just kind of try to take my time and obviously watch the paint um i don't want to burn my paint and you know or burn my lenses or anything like that so I'm just gonna try to be as careful as i can As you can see dude it is just bringing that black right out man and man it's just a night and day difference i'm so excited to get this done
I really hope you guys learned something here and a lot of you guys can take what it is that we did here and apply it to your cars and, and get your bumpers looking good, bro, because night and day difference, man. So peace, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.